Hey, I'm Tashi and welcome to my home. I'm sick. <sighs> I love yarn. I love yarn. I love yarn. I love yarn. So it's a Friday and I'm supposed to be at work, but I really don't feel good. I went to work this morning for a meeting and then I was like, boss man, I gotta go home. And he was like, okay. And he recommended I just take some NyQuil and just sleep the day away. But I already took DayQuil like two hours ago, so now I gotta wait another two hours before I can take another dose and then I might do that. But I was also like, well, it's a rainy day. I don't feel good. I just wanna sit around all day. So I thought, what a perfect time to film a video of how much I can crochet on a sick day. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. Um, and there's going to be some nappage happening at some point today when, you know, I get tired, I'm just going to sleep. But I thought I have all of these like ideas that I've saved on Instagram and Pinterest of like these little projects that I want to crochet. Um, cause I'm kind of working to figure out like what's going to be my niche. Like what are the things that I'm going to crochet? I eventually, I do want to start an online store and I am planning to do a craft fair coming up in October, which is still, you know, quite a ways away, but I want to start kind of figuring out, well, what are the products that I like making that I'm going to want to keep making to sell and then kind of trying to start pricing things out as well. So I think I'm going to um, just kind of spend today, like just making things that I've been wanting to make forever, but just haven't had the time to make. But I do have one project that I have to finish. And that one project is is this. It is a dress that I'm making for my goddaughter for her birthday and it's almost done. I just have to do the straps and so I, I think this is going to be a pretty quick finish. I think I'm going to work on this first and then once I get this done then we'll start looking in the archives of all of my saved stuff and see if there's anything that strikes our fancy to make next. So I got all of my supplies. I got my crochet. I got my electrolytes. I got my water. I got my tissues and I got my audiobook. So I think we're gonna be we're gonna be ready to just sit here for a while. I don't want to move. Here we go. Project one. <laughs> I got one of the straps done now onto the other strap and that one took me about half an hour but I also undid stuff because I'm not following a pattern so hopefully this next one won't take as long but and Kevin decided she wanted to cuddle she's like mom too much love I got too much love too much love it's done it just turned out so cute. I just hope it looks good on her. And that only took me like an hour to finish up the the straps and the and the ruffles. <laughs> so cute. I am getting hungry because normally I have a I have a snack around this time um, when I'm at work, but I think I might just like eat a kind of lunchy type meal and then maybe take a nap because I am getting pretty tired and then We'll see what else we can crochet today once I have a little food in my belly. Oh, so tired. This is going to be lunch. Leftover broccoli gouda quiche and some green grapes. Mm. Can't be said it best. Oh, is it cuddle time? <laughs> I think it's nap time, so we're gonna, um, we're just gonna cuddle on the couch and take a little nap together. I'm taking a page out of my dog's book. There's Kona. Oh, where's Aria? There she is. <laughs> it's definitely sleepy time in our house. I don't think that nap was very successful. I didn't sleep very long. It was only like half an hour. I think there's probably <laughs> oh, at least one of us is sleepy. Yes, I love you. 
is the grill. The next thing that I want to make is I saw this really cool um, video on Instagram where this woman made this like fidget toy. It was like, um, I don't know what you call it. It's like the, the loop that never ends. I don't remember. It's got a fancy name, but um, anyway, she like made one of those into kind of like a crochet fidget toy. And I just bought the most beautiful yarn from Joann's yesterday that I was like, oh, I'm gonna use this to make the fidget. And so I kind of wanna, I wanna try that now. And uh, that requires me to move. Oreo, go fetch me my yarn. Useless. All right. Don't take my spot, I'm coming back. You good? This is the yarn. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, it looks like a, like a creamsicle. We're gonna see if we can make a little, uh, what you call it, fidget toy out of this gorgeous creamsicle yarn. This is also a big twist, by the way, from Joann's, if you feel the need to buy some for yourself. I'm gonna have to go find this pattern and figure out what I'm doing because I don't know what I'm doing. So I rewatched the video and then I got, she has like the small one posted on her blog, hookedforlifepublishing.com. So I got that pattern pulled up and I think I'm just gonna try to make the tiny one instead of the big one. So I'm gonna start with the tiny one since there's a written pattern for that one. And yeah, we'll see how it goes, but I think I am gonna put, um, put a show on just to mindlessly move out too. Oh my gosh. I am blown away. This is so cool. Like, it just, it just keeps going. Like, how fun is this? Like, you can just keep pulling this through forever and ever and ever and it's never gonna stop. You wanna know how long this took me to make? 15 minutes. That's amazing. I love this. This is amazing. Okay, well, this is officially my fidget toy now because this is great. Just never ends. And actually, I, tag or like I saved a video where this gal was making like all these other fidget toys like this was her inspiration and then she just kept making like other crochet fidget toys and now I kind of want to try to make some other ones too so there was one that she did with like bead like wooden beads down the middle and I have a lot of wooden beads so I think that's gonna be my next thing is I'm just I'm gonna wing it I don't have a pattern for it. I don't feel like finding a pattern for it. So I think I'm just gonna wing a bead fidget toy. I'm, like, I'm literally fidgeting with this right now. Like this is really nice. Also, I figured out it's called a Mobius. Mobius. Strip, ring, circle. It's a Mobius. We're just gonna call it the Mobius fidget. There it is. The creamsicle Mobius fidget. Yay. I found my beads. I also grabbed my bag of key rings because you're sitting on the remote. Because I thought it would be fun to do the wooden one on a keychain. I really don't know how I'm gonna do this next one. So I think I'm just gonna like play around a little bit with different ideas. I kind of want it to be like that shape like a long ovaly type with like maybe a big bead in the middle that they can spin and then maybe do like a scalloped edge so there's also like different texture I'm just not 100% sure how I'm gonna do that yet okay I'm getting an idea in my head excuse me Kevin I need this because if I do okay 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 yep Yep. Yep. 
This is what I'm thinking. That's my, that's my design. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna start playing with it. I'm just gonna start, start it and wing it and we'll, uh, we're just gonna see what happens. We're gonna see what I make. Might be terrible. Might be genius. I don't, I don't know. We'll find out. It'll be something. Kevin, you're gonna knock the camera over. Kevin, stop. That's what I came up with. I don't like it. I'm gonna undo it. Um, I like the concept, right? Like, I think it could work if I use the right yarn. I think for this type where it's gonna be like a keychain, I need to use a more stiff yarn. So I need to use like a cotton yarn or even like a like some sort of hemp cord or something. And then I couldn't figure out how to attach the bead while I was crocheting. So I just like left a gap and then I was gonna sew the bead in after, which I think is probably the move. But like I said, I just don't like it with this yarn. It's like, it's too flimsy and I want this one to be a little more stiff. So I'm like having a hot flash. Hot flash. Uh, I'm not okay. I'm gonna undo this and then I wanna do something else because I'm bored of this now. We're gonna scroll through Instagram and maybe Pinterest and then find another project. I have a lot of Granny Square bags saved in on both Instagram and on Pinterest. And I think some of them would be pretty quick to put together because there's only like, I don't know, some of them are only one Granny Square, honestly. And I do have some Granny Squares already made that I could just use. And then some of them are only like four or six. So maybe I'll try a Granny Square bag. Okay. I have scrolled through all the things on that I have saved on Instagram and Pinterest. I can't decide what to make. I'm leaning towards trying to make some keychains because I'd like to make like some cute little, you know, like amigurumi type thing, keychain things. Um, but I also keep seeing like all these little pouches, like these pouch keychains that people are making, like for your AirPods or like chapstick or something. And I was like, oh, well that could be really cute too. So like try to make like a little keychain pouch thing um, or a granny square bag. I think I have too many choices and I just, I can't make any choices. Although, you know, I did buy some really nice yarn the other day that I specifically wanted to use to make some granny square bags. So maybe I go pull out that yarn and then I'll be inspired. Or maybe I'll just curl up with Kevin and take a nap. Should I just take a nap with you? I'm just not even tired. This is a this is a problem. Like I feel horrible. But that Dayquil man, that Dayquil must have like some potent stuff in it because I am not tired. I don't think I should have taken Dayquil. I should I should have done what my boss told me. My boss was like, go home and take some NyQuil and just sleep all day. I should have done that. I didn't do that. I'm gonna go find some yarn. Here's what I got. This is the new yarn that I bought um, because the craft fair that I'm going to do is at, uh, is at a church that has a school attached to it and the school attached to it, these are kind of like the school colors. And so I was like, well, maybe some people will wanna buy stuff in the school colors. So I'm thinking maybe I'm just gonna do like granny squares out of this color and I'm just gonna do one color granny squares and then I'll make like I'll like join it with the white and maybe make the straps out of the white too I just want to do like a simple one but something different than I've already done so I've already done like the little like pouchy kind I kind of want to do something else oh I know I've been wanting to make like you know those it's like four granny squares so it's like two on one side and two on the other side so it makes kind of like a long rectangle and it could be like a like a cell phone pouch or like a sunglass pouch i think i'm gonna do that because that'll be easy and i want to do the sunburst pattern because i like that pattern granny square a lot so 
That's what I'm gonna do while I finish watching Hack Your Health, The Secrets of Your Gut. It just came out on Netflix and I weirdly was very excited to watch it. All right, I'm gonna start crocheting. Where are you? I don't like it when I have to go spelunking for the yarn babies. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. She didn't want to leave the womb. Got it. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. What we're going to do first, get my handle on it here, make a mess, it's slippery, is we are going to just yarn over and pull through. So well, yes. Yes, I did have to watch my tutorial to remind myself how to do a sunburst granny square. I forgot. It's been a while and I've been doing the retro daisy granny squares for a while now and I didn't have my sunburst granny square pattern written down so I I could not remember how to do it to save my life but it's all coming back to me now and I think I got it so now I'm gonna just sit here crochet and finish watching this oh, this movie being sick is the worst I'm getting another hot flash why <laughs> warm one down took me like maybe 15 minutes to do the one so not <clears throat> not too bad but I still haven't woven in the ends so I'm gonna weave in the ends and then I will start number two and I need a total of four for the bag that I'm making I also decided that I want to learn how to make a Romanian cord because I've just heard that they're a lot sturdier if you use them on bags and especially with such a small bag I think a Romanian cord would be nice to have with it so I'm probably gonna once I finish my four granny squares I'll probably watch a tutorial video and try to figure out how to do that because I think a Romanian cord with this bag would look really nice I also really like how that yarn came together I just think it looks really pretty it's kind of cool kind of want to make one with the creamsicle yarn too I feel like that would also be amazing I seriously am obsessed with that yarn like I definitely did not need that yarn at all but as soon as I saw it I was like oh my gosh I have to have it and even my friend that was with me she was like oh my gosh me too so we both bought it and neither of us needed it but it is so beautiful so I honestly yeah if, if I like how this bag turns out I might make another one with that creamsicle yarn we'll just we'll just have to see I don't I don't know I also usually clean my house on Fridays and it is a Friday which means it's house cleaning day <sighs> which sounds horrible to me right now but I also think like maybe if I just do one thing at a time and then take a break like I could I could maybe make it through most of my to-do list some of this stuff is pretty easy, just like wiping down the counters in the kitchen and cleaning the front window. And <sighs> yeah, I think I'm gonna have to compromise with myself here. And I think after I finish weaving this, I think I'm gonna go do one thing for cleaning. Like I think I'll go clean the kitchen counters and then I'll come back and do my next square. And then once I finish that square, then I'll go do another thing, etc., etc. Square one is done. So I'm gonna go do a little cleaning and then we'll come back and do square two. Ugh. I did two things. I cleaned the window and I did the kitchen counters. And I got more electrolytes to help me stay hydrated. Square number two. Individuals, we can start to predict which foods are the best for each person. Number two is done. Two more to go. I'm really hungry, so I'm actually going to get a snack before I make my third one. So, number three is done. And now I'm going to try to vacuum the upstairs without passing out. I just vacuumed the upstairs and Swiffered the kitchen 
and I am beat. <laughs> that took it out of me. Yep. I think I'm I'm done cleaning for the rest of the night. I can't do any more. And I really want to shower, but I also don't feel capable of doing that right now. <sighs> so I'm gonna make the last granny square for this bag and sit here for a minute. Thank you. And uh, and then I'll probably shower. Should we keep working on our bag? You wet paws. No, I don't want wet willies. I just want to hug you. Love you. Number four is complete. And now it is time to put the bag together. I think I'm just going to do the, I don't know, like the slip stitch join maybe. Yeah, cause I kind of want to be able to see the white. So I think that that'll be good. And then I gotta watch a video on how to make that uh, braid thing that I was gonna, whatever it's called. The Romanian cord. That's what it's called. Tally ho. You will not recognize brother. Balthazar has a sister. Me. How dare you? How dare me? How dare you? Ta-da! I finished. Minus the strap, obviously. But I think it's cute. Um... The only thing is it's bigger than I thought it was going to be because like phone, yeah, I want it to be more phone sized and it's a little bit big. So I don't know, maybe a different type of granny square I could try next, but I do love the sunburst granny square, but maybe I can just take out one of the rows or something. I bet that would work, but I have to learn now how to do the, the Romanian twist thing. So. Let's see, Romanian crochet cord, Romanian cord. How to crochet a Romanian cord. Hi everybody, I'm Pia from Stitches and Scraps and today I wanna to show you how to make this Romanian cord. That would be great, please show me. When you're making a Romanian cord, it's a good idea to use a hook that's slightly larger than what you would normally use for your yarn because it does tend to get a little bit tight. Ah, she's using a size six. Six. Okay. Teach me your ways. All right, I'm gonna work on this and I'll get back to you. Okay, that was actually like so much easier than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I'm only this far because I just started, but it shouldn't take me very long, I don't think. I don't know. Although I am kind of, I think I'm gonna make it kind of long, so. Oh, I always say things won't take me very long and then they take me forever. I still feel kind of meh, but I am feeling better than I did this morning, so that's good. I am very excited to take NyQuil tonight and just pass out. I think that'll be lovely, but I need to start dinner soon, and I want to take a shower once I finish this bag, so that is going to be my plan. I showered, and I did not finish the cord yet, and I am moving to the basement where it is dark and there's not this beautiful daylight. The reason I'm moving down there is because it's Friday night, which means it's movie night. So I watch a movie every Friday night and it's usually a rom-com. Well, my friend recommended a rom-com to me about a woman who owns a yarn store. I think it's called like Yarn Love or something. I don't know, it's got yarn and love in the title. Anyways, it's only on Roku. And our TV up here does not, is not a Roku TV. So I have to go to the basement, to our Roku TV. So I'm gonna go down there. I have my basket full of yarn ready to go. I am bringing the creamsicle yarn down. Okay, it's not actually called creamsicle. I should figure out what it's called. It's called Warm Brights. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep calling it creamsicle. So I am bringing the creamsicle yarn down with me and all my hooks and things that I might need and of course the unfinished bag and we're just going to um we're gonna keep making bags tonight i think i really want to make one with the creamsicle yarn because i think that that would look gorgeous and i do want to try to make uh, something a little bit smaller than this that will better fit just a cell phone so that is my goal for this evening 
whilst I watch what is hope for hopefully going to be a good rom-com. Honestly, as of right now, this is still my favorite thing I've made today. It's just so fun. It just keeps going and going and going and going. You like it? Yeah, did I do a good job? No, oh, I think you. Thank you. Oh, so sweet. All right, let's go downstairs, huh? You go downstairs? Welcome to my basement. I found the movie. Listen, I love a good, like, hallmarky rom-com okay that's that's it fills my soul it's it's just what i love it just it's what i love to do i love to just watch them and just make fun of them and oh i feel like this is gonna be a good one i can't wait oh my gosh even like the cover photo is like you know I, here i'll show you like we have no doubts as to what kind of movie this is gonna be all right let's do this play well, Hubba Dubs figured out how to get the Roku on the upstairs TV. So we're back upstairs because he needs to watch the draft downstairs. Drafts. Drafts. One, two, and three, and then also the first day of the WWE draft is tonight. In the I didn't know that WWE had a draft. It's, it's a way that they can move talent from one show to the other. This Romanian cord is taking way longer than I thought it would. Like it's actually kind of hard to do because each stitch is kind of hard to like get the hook into and it does it it can get really tired if I am not paying attention. I don't know if I like it. So I will say I like the look of it. Like I, I think the look of it is really cool. But the reason I wanted to try it is because I thought it might stretch a little bit less than like other regular you know, like crocheted straps, but it's still pretty stretchy. I measured and I want it to be about 42 inches and we're probably only at about halfway there. And I decided I'm not gonna make another one of these bags probably tonight. I think what I'm gonna do instead, if I'm still up for making another one when I finish this, which I might not be honestly, depending on how long this takes me, but I thought maybe I would make like, I've seen those cute little AirPod cases everywhere. Like um, the little like flower ones are all over the place. And so I was like, oh, well that would be fun to make like a little flower, like keychain AirPod case thing. So I might try that next with the creamsicle yarn because I think that would be really cute. And I think that will work up faster than this because I don't have to make like a big cord for it. I don't know. We'll see. But this cord has seriously, it has been taking me like, I don't know, where am I at in my movie? 35 minutes into my movie. So this cord has probably taken me at least 40 minutes so far. And I'm only like halfway done. Yeah. No. Dun, 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 dun. I finished. So it actually didn't take me as long as I thought. And now I just got to sew it on. Oh, that's gonna be so cute. I love it. That is ador it is gonna be adorable. All right, I'm gonna sew this and then I'll show you the finished product. Are you ready for the final reveal? Ah, oh, there she is. <laughs> I think this turned out so cute. It's adorable. I still do wish it was a little bit smaller, but I think it, it's a good size. Oh, so fun. I love it. I still have a good amount left in my movie, so I think I still am going to try to do that um, little flower AirPod purse now out of the creamsicle yarn. But yay, this is so adorable. I'm being very productive today and I am feeling a lot better. So that's good. I'm still going to take some NyQuil tonight just to be safe, but I think just a day of like chilling and resting has definitely helped. So that's good. Still not 100%, but definitely much better. On to the next project. And 
so cute oh my gosh so I think it's definitely like a little bit bigger than I was anticipating I think I used a five millimeter hook so I might use a smaller one but yeah um this turned out adorable so you just close it up like that so cute oh my gosh and it took me a little bit to like figure out the pattern so it did take me longer than I anticipated it took maybe like 45 minutes to do this but I think normally it would take maybe like half an hour and this is really fun to whip up so I do think I'll be making more of these guys but I think that's gonna be a wrap on today I'm gonna go take some NyQuil so here's everything that we made today that's pretty pretty fun day and then we finished Addie's dress which is still drying downstairs after I washed it so yeah thanks for stopping by and joining me on my sick day <laughs> super random weird video but <clears throat> at least I'm feeling better appreciate you hanging out with me and if you haven't hit that subscribe button please make sure to do that give me a thumbs up I'll see you next time for another crafting adventure Thank you.